I served the German Patch Third Army. Yeah, yeah. 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 that's your best one. Uh, I still get up at Old Dark 30 in the morning. I'll get the thing. I got it. And an Old Dark 30 in the morning. That was the time the war trials were going on in Nuremberg. And I spent another year, year and a half in Nuremberg. In the post war occupation. And then, can you tell us what it means to have students assembling here today? All right, see you. This, this was awesome. This was a once in a lifetime experience. Uh, I think not only for myself, but all three of us. Uh, it's so gratifying to see an organization that can put an event like this together. Because I think that's something in our world today. There's so much negativity. It's a very positive influence that we are a great country and we recognize the sacrifice that we can make and keep it that way. I was impressed with the group of high school participants here, who are concerned uh, in our defense of our country and the, the, the difference in how those who fought today and how they were in World War II. It's great. It gives us a safe uh, feeling of uh, continuity in our defense. Why do you think it's important for schools and students to recognize uh, the importance of a, a remembering event such as September 11th? I, I think it's very important. And even younger than high school um, are honored with our honor flight by a lot of people and school kids who will come out and express their appreciation for what we did. What is, your, what is your name, sir? Schwab. Joe Schwab. Joe Schwab. Um, what, what branch did you serve in? I served in the Navy. Could, could you share uh, your thoughts about what it was like serving in World War II? Well, I uh, graduated from high school on May 30th in 1942 and left for the Navy on June 7th. Uh, as a 17-year-old, and uh, it, was, it was an experience. Uh, we preceded radar and all the things uh, that are available today. I uh, was a range finder operator on an aircraft carrier, and uh, the only thing we could bear on or shoot or hone in on was what we could see visibly. <laughs> Big changes. changes <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. What is your name, sir? Ted Glinsky. Ted Glinsky. Um, could you tell us what it, what today's event meant to you? Well. I think the greatest thing I got out of this was the love that I felt from everybody. It almost brought tears to my eyes because I never felt this much love for so many people. I think these young people here, I look at them and this is our future. And I think it's in really good hands. People like that come in here and shook hands. The hand was a little limp now, but it was wonderful to, uh, to be here. Sure. I'll never forget it. Can you tell us about your, your experiences in, in World War II? Well, I went into World War II. Uh, I, I enlisted in the Navy when I was 18, right after high school. And I served in there for a little over two years. I was a signal and quartermaster on a minesweeper in the Pacific. I never saw a lot of action because our, our ship kept breaking down, a little engine trouble. But we swept mines uh, there and I just missed a horrible typhoon. We hit just the very edge of it. 
four of our minesweepers were my class. And, uh, then we more or less just swept mines from the west coast that were drifting down from Alaska. The Japanese had a little base up there that they were unloosing mines, floating mines. And uh, that was just about it. I was I pretty much locked out from a lot of activity. Okay. It's good to be here. Um, how important do you think it is to for students to remember September 11th and the and the events that happened on September 11th, 2001? I think it's very important to remember that. I'll, I'll never forget that. My wife and I had uh, scheduled a vacation trip up to. Vancouver, Canada, shortly after 9-11. And uh, I remember that the plane was only had about, was about a quarter filled. People were afraid to fly then. There was all this uh, unrest in the country that this could happen. Uh, I don't think it'll ever happen again like that. But, uh, it, was, uh, it was sad, very sad. It was also sad for the people and listening to the gentleman that gave the talk there. Um, I didn't realize how many people had died from just the, the responders there from toxic fumes and all that. And that brought back some more sadness. And I think I'll never forget it. And um, I'll never forget my service to the country. And I was proud to serve. At that time, I was just not going to let Snot and his kid, 18, but I look back on that and say, the guys on my ship seemed to be fearless, but we were all united just like America is united now. Sure. And I appreciate that. I love everybody here. I'm just full of love today. Well, you guys are you guys are national treasures. You're part of the greatest the greatest generation of Americans. Um, you said that you got so much love and support here, just being here today. Um, but I would imagine it's similar everywhere that you everywhere that you go. Like, do people often come up to you and thank you for your service and and recognize that you're you're part of a great the greatest generation of Americans? If any of you can feel free to, to chime in on that on that question. I think all of us experienced that on our trip to Washington, D.C., the honor flight. The, the, the treatment we had was awesome. It, it couldn't help but bring tears to your eyes. I feel for my son, who's a Vietnam veteran, who doesn't get the accolades that we have received in the recent years. Um, to do what we can to promote yeah, that. Uh, be as grateful to them, certainly, as, as to the World War II veterans. Sure. Do you think that things have gotten better recently in terms of our Vietnam vets getting the recognition that they didn't get when they came back from serving in Vietnam? Um, I think so. I think so, but I, I don't think enough. Is there anything else that you gentlemen would like to say at, at all? What a privilege it was to be here today. What an honor it was for us to be here. And I see the activities, to see what's going on. Yeah, it's just amazing the number of people that showed up here, the, the love that was expressed here. Uh, phenomenal. I can't believe it. It was a pleasure being here to experience this. The smiles. I really feel honored. The smiles that we got and the handshakes that we got. Yeah, I was born the day before Halloween. I love all this crazy. <laughs>